Hello, fellow entrepreneurs. I'm Sean. I'm Aaron. And this is episode 28 of the Jerusalem Hub Audio Experience. Yeah. Today we're going to talk to you about how you can improve your profile on your LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a big one that we should always, like everyone should be on, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you're in business. Yeah. I'm starting to learn that now. I actually yeah. made some connections the it's past couple of days. It's huge for creating your network and building it up. So that's why we're here to talk about five tips on improving your LinkedIn. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Your LinkedIn profile. Your LinkedIn profile. Tip because one. A, like, I'll, I'll just say one quick reason why you should be doing it. Um, because you'll show up in a lot more searches and people will look at your profile and they'll, they'll judge by your profile the fact that they, a, they found it. They'll look at you and like, should they con- contact you or not? And especially if you wrote to somebody, they'll check out your profile to see if you're legit. So that's why we're going to talk about how to make your profile look legit. Okay. So what? Yeah. You want to do it? I'll do it. You go for it. Okay. Tip one, make sure to write down what you do in life. What this means is you're allowing people to personally connect with you, they, to understand what you what you do for a living, your profession. It's a short little thing. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Just a little bit of fluff. You know, and that's that's pretty much all you got to do. Yeah. Employers, as well as people who are trying to network with you, are always going to want to start a conversation with you based on the commonality that they have with you, whether it's yeah. something they need from you or whether you guys are in the same profession. And also, a lot of them can tell if like this is real or this is fluff. Yeah. So being short and concise, and just briefly talking about what you do. Tip two: um, should have a short inspirational phrase. Like at the beginning of mine, I have the best. Um, the best revenge is your success. Uh, I, I kind of stole it from someone else's profile. I actually mirrored my profile after somebody else and helped a lot with my growth. So the best way to promote yourself or anything is just showing that you're a positive person. So when you have these inspirational phrases, people are like, oh, this guy is already thinking like on the top. The truth of the matter is the best way to promote anything is through positivity. Yeah. Like that's people, people. Um, what's it called? People gravitate towards positivity. So as yeah. long as you people see you, they see your profession, they see that you're, you you have a witty, positive quote that kind of connects with you and can, can connect with others, it allows people to have more of an interest in wanting to start up a conversation with you. Right. Um, tip three, make sure you put down your hobbies. Now this one people don't really quite understand, but the thing is, is that if you have if you have things you put down and say, this is what I do outside of work, I enjoy playing guitar or being artistic or whatever it is, Yeah. It allows people to personally understand who you are and again, it gives them more of a reason to want to connect with you and maybe want to network with you. Yeah. Um, also, um, in addition to that, you're going to tip number four, former work experience. Um, when you um, when you create your profile, you have a whole list of, you have a, yeah, there's a section on your profile where you can add current workplaces and your former workplaces. When people see that you have former working um, experience, then you will, um, they'll see that, oh, you just didn't start now, but this guy's been working in different, multiple places with different um, levels of experience in different areas. You just didn't pop out of nowhere. Um, so you just want to include that in there. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> okay. T- tip five. Make sure that you have a link to your website at the bottom so that people know, so people have a yeah. clickable link that they can under, so they can see what you're about, check out what you do, and maybe see if they can like yeah. identify with you. And so it you adds legitimacy to them. your yeah. uh, profile because they're saying, like, oh, this guy does this, and here's a link to where he is available or what he actually does. So get out there. This is the first step towards being a better marketer and being better at networking on social media. And yeah. It's, it's yeah. gets as simple as that. Start from square one and just keep moving from there. Yeah, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great content like this video. This has been Jerusalem Hub, and always remember, be bold, face your fears, and, and always, always stay, stay consistent. consistent. We'll see you guys tomorrow.